M0 FXB, here we are. We're doing some FTA and we got some good contacts here. And the we're on the ICOM 705 using WF View as our scope. We don't uh, we've got the scope running as well on FT8 WSJTX. So I'm going to show you the settings in W WF View. So settings, it's all done wirelessly. So we've got our the IP address of our radio that's in access mode. So how do you get it in access mode? Let's just show you that. We'll go menu, set, try not to get my fingers in the way, wireless LAN, and choose connection type access point, not station point. This is very important. Once you do that, you'll get Wi-Fi, uh, white Wi-Fi appear on the radio. Okay, and now, now before you come off there, go into connection settings access point, like so. See what you can see the IP address at the bottom, that, that doesn't really change. Are we actually doing this live? We just had a contact. Click OK. Then we'll go back into the settings. You have to set your username and password. Right, so we go quickly do that. Set wireless LAN and you go to connection settings. And in this section at the top here, where my finger is, you've got SSID and password. Get your username and password in there. One that you'll remember. Remember that IP address at the bottom. So come out of there, and what you will see on the radio is a little white Wi-Fi thing, but it won't say wireless LAN. Then go to your um, computer, and this is very crucial. I haven't seen this in another video. Connect your computer to the ICOM 705, which will show. You will have to disconnect it from the internet, so it won't. The, your laptop won't be on the internet, but it doesn't matter. It will be connected to your radio. So um, once you've done that, once it connects, um, go back here and then put in here. You need a virtual serial uh, port or virtual serial cable. So I'll put a link in for that um, so that you can find that. Let's see if I can just quickly minimize and do it now because I know you're going to want to know. So we'll go here. Virtual serial cable click go oh there's no internet that's a shame so i'll have to just show you go to google and add that and what i'll do is i'll show you it running so see this green thing here you when you click that this is what it looks like and you click the little gold star here and here it is virtual serial ports emulator you click the little gold star and it gives you the option to add a device, leave it on connector and go next and then create a very high number. I've, I've chose 16. So you choose 16 or 15 and then when you click finish, it will appear in a list and click play if you want because that makes sure that it's running and then don't close the window, just minimize it. The other one you want to do is download VB audio, yeah, virtual audio. Again, just download it, run it and that creates uh, for the cables it creates see here it says that cable input vb audio virtual cable cable output vb audio virtual cable it's really important that you do that um, and so anyway so that's the settings here get them in icom 705 the username and password is in your access settings on the I on the actual icom 705 there's that ip address you saw at the bottom the 5001 don't worry about that that was already in there um, and then select the virtual COM port number that you just created using this program. Okay, and then you'll be able to sort of connect um, to the radio by hitting connect here. There is a connect button. If it doesn't connect, you've got a setting wrong. Message me with pictures. I'll, I'll help you on that. So anyway, and then when you've done that, then all you've got to do then is fire up WSJT like normal. Go into settings. And again, choose the same COM port number and it is the same, 16. I've chosen 7300 on the 705 because for some reason it just didn't work. So I just put 7300 in. Cat, default, default here. Look, you can see it all flashing away as, it, as it's in use. Um, audio, and this is super important. Input is cable output, VB audio. So input is output. And then output, cable input, VB audio, virtual cable. Now these appear, when you've run that software I told you about, VB audio and VB serial it gives you these appear in your selection list 
So we'll click OK, that's all working great. I'll just show you that again. If you look here on the settings of WFU, look, cable input is output. Cable output is input. And that's it, and you should be good to go. And, and this will work on JS8 as well. I haven't actually done that yet, but I'm going to. So yeah, we've had a few contacts. I think I'll leave it now. Um, so you can see the, the icon. And so if you enjoy these videos, if you're finding them interesting, because what I'm doing is I've got a fantastic radio like the 705. It's got Wi-Fi, it's got access point. You know, it's got that point, this point. Let's get it, let's use it, you know? Um, and we've got laptops, we've got Wi-Fi connections, the software's free, and look, you can see I just had a contact on JS8, sorry, <laughs> FT8, with uh, IZ1SAI, is that Italy? Probably, so I'll let that finish, and then I'll say 7.3, and uh, if you're worried about um, this EMF stuff with, with um, Ofcom, don't worry about it. Go to the RSGP, download the Excel emulator, whatever it is, and you'll see that it's really straightforward and easy to do. So I'm just going to let this go because otherwise he's going to think I'm rude if I don't do the... Have you noticed the way it goes down through? Roger, roger. Then at the end it says 7.3. So I'm only running 5 watts. I'm on a G5 RV. Right, I'm just going to say 7.3. My report's a bit not good. <laughs> Minus 14, but hey, it's 5 watts. So right, I'll end the video. 7.3, all the best.